Hey, it's me, Leo, currently. Okay, let's get started. Um, Emma said before they rolled the highlights that this could be the biggest eviction of the series, or the season. I'm sorry, I'm going to speak a lot of American terms, sorry. Biggest eviction of the season because one of the most controversial, because it was like the most controversial relationship ever since Spidey hit the Big Brother house. Big Brother UK house. It's the morning after the highlights start. The morning after Tiffany's rant, shopping task mate is the shopping task is housemate. Mutt's answer phone calls from friends, family, former housemates, etc. Stephanie is reprimanded again by Big Brother. She's not given a formal warning, which I expected. But no, they're like we can't tolerate this behavior, and that was it. The task instructions are housemates are to make sure to to answer to not, not miss any calls. Housemates need to answer need to ID the callers, and callers can only answer yes, no, or maybe with the with the identification questions that they have to ask. Only once the callers identified housemates can speak to them. Also, there is a set talk minute scale thing that they have um, somewhere in the house. If all the minutes are used up, then housemates fill the task. task. And housemates may be given calls of various temptations that are meant to drain their minutes. First caller was Jillian McKeith, and the housemates, the house just keeps ignoring their, her calls. Daniela talks to Big Brother about the shopping task, and all house meets really need that phone call. So, and they, it's like a big teamwork experience. To the well, St Daniela and Stephanie have not talked about the previous night. They haven't talked. The, the the only things that they've talked about was just like, oh, this is the phone call. This is a man. This is a woman. They're calling. This is for a man. This is for a woman. This this is for this person. I wanted to see, like, a Juno Burger phone because they had various different phones. They even had rotary phones. They've had phone booths, like the UK phone boxes and stuff like that. When Chris call Christopher called the house, Gemma just straight up hung up on him. Jillian calls again, and Jillian could give four more minutes if they follow Jillian's rules still. Jeremy and Stephanie are s still smoking and getting close in the garden. Darren catches them, Scotty T confronts them on smoking, and Scotty T's re like reason is there's enough time left. But no one of the rules was for the day was like following Jillian's rules, and one of Jillian's rules was for Jeremy and Stephanie not to get close to each other. Still. They also got a phone call for takeout pizza. She pressed the button to get the pizza. The house gets pizza. Then the house has a debate over clean eating. And then they put the pizza back in the storeroom. Gemma talks to Tiffany about fame and how she got famous on Towie. And Tiffany tells Gemma that she looks famous. Okay, I saw John crying after he was talking to his sister. I thought he was crying real tears. And like when they zoomed up, like when they zoomed up to his face, it was just sweat off his forehead. Like there was no water coming out of his eyes. No, they were still crocodile tears. And then Jeremy and Stephanie are still getting back in bed together. Daniela and Tiffany talk about this relationship, and Tiffany is starting to feel uncomfortable about them. And once you have Tiffany feeling uncomfortable about them, then you know it's wrong. <laughs> Oh my god. Like, Jeremy has become a homewrecker. Jillian rewards some more time 
to their phone calls, but she wasn't impressed with some of the rule breaks because some housemates kept swearing and some kept smoking. And every time, they, they keep hanging up on her still. <laughs> Stephanie talks to Big Brother. She wants to hear from her father so badly because she wants to hear that her hear him say that he was so she's so proud of her. And then Tiffany talks about her pussy being nice and tight. And then Sister Patterson, Tiffany's mom, calls. And I was just like, yeah, Sister Patterson, Sister Patterson! Because I... Okay, <laughs> because that mother, <laughs> that mother is writing on the coattails of her fucking daughter, and I love it. And she's been doing that since she since Sister Pat since Tiffany has been on Flavor of Love season one. And then Jeremy and Stephanie keep making out in the bed, and it keeps waking up Tiffany. It keeps waking up Daniela and Gemma. Tiffany thinks that Stephanie may be evicted. She could have more fun with Jeremy if Stephanie is if Stephanie's evicted. Tiffany says that she needs a good sticking, which, yeah. It's a little bit sexual to say, but yeah. This is Tiffany we're talking about. And by the end of the highlights, Daniela and Gemma go for a cup of tea because it woke, because the kissing just kept... It just woke up both Daniela and Gemma. Okay, now to the eviction. Um, before they cut out to lip sync battle, before that, um, Emma goes to the, talks to the house and she says that Tiffany is safe from eviction. And then Tiffany says that she felt out of place again, but the housemates reassure her, like, no, 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 you're doing fine, you're doing fine, you're with us. And then to notify who's evicted, Gemma... Emma will call the house because the phones are still up. So I'm thinking this this task will last all fucking weekend. Jeremy and Stephanie must go into the phone boxes in the garden and they must answer the phones to find out to know their fate. Jeremy gets the phone call. Stephanie is in disbelief and wants to attach herself to Jeremy. Somebody, I wanted somebody to hold on to fucking Stephanie, make sure she stays in the house. Or I wanted Stephanie to latch on to Jeremy and just, like, walk out with him. And then Jeremy gives Stephanie a necklace, which is a picture of his mom and his brother on inside the locket. And Jeremy has really gotten off lightly from, like, based off this relationship. It was just, like, Stephanie's being called the home calling being called a slag and shit but I mean yeah and Big Brother's production still has not made any contact with Sam Rees which I think is funnier Jeremy really wants Stephanie or Scotty T to win but he's being realistic that Scott Stephanie will not win would not have a chance would not be, be would not really win but she he wants Stephanie to win and, like, seriously, throughout this whole fucking series, we have not seen Jeremy being Jeremy. We have only saw Jeremy as Stephanie's lapdog. I I think Danielle and Stephanie may patch things up, like what the people on the bots panel said. Jillian McKeith enters the bot set and does an interview with Rylan. Jillian was not surprised that Jeremy that Jeremy is evicted. Jillian thinks that the, that Stephanie shouldn't be in a relationship right now, and Stephanie keeps staring at Je Jeremy's locket, The and Rylan's, like, saying, Stephanie's staring at the locket. Like, he's getting those things in his, in his earpiece when... stuff like that. Remember, finale is next week. We have one more eviction on Tuesday, and then the finale is probably on Friday or Saturday. John is probably turning it around the his public the public opinion on him, but I don't know if it will work. Nor do I give any fucks. <laughs> According to Jeremy, John thought that Darren could be a weak link when at the time of when he nominated Darren, like. 
he wanted only strong people to stay with him to the finale. Jo that was John's goal. Supposedly. But, as for now, as for now, I'll be back tomorrow for the highlights from today. From today's highlights. And, and, um, by the time you'll see me in the finale, I'll be in a different place. I'm going to be starting a new job soon, so, yeah. But I'll give you more information on uh, what's going to happen for the next series when I do a comeback video. So, see ya!